Hey, welcome back. That uh, tip in the walkthrough was pretty helpful. You can just use this mallow thing and it just kills everybody. Oh, but I won't use it here because it's just one guy. Um, I have one more pen pal note. If you use this, it just kills everybody because they're weak to ice. So that's fun. She had mentioned something that I wanted to try to talk about. Because um, I don't really have any therapy notes, but I did bring this up in therapy. And she didn't really talk too much about it. I thought it was pretty interesting, but like an interesting idea to talk about. I didn't bring anything interesting to it other than the, the, the premise, but... <laughs> um, <clears throat> Coming up with ideas is stressful, but she talks to her friends and it's fun. That makes me sad. Okay. She was talking about how, well, I mentioned, what did I mention? That it's stressful to talk to people. Oh, we were talking about, she goes to school and she has to write papers. And I was like, well, that sounds stressful. Like having to come up with ideas every week and write papers and that's why I kind of did more math stuff because it's just, we'll just learn the formulas and then even with accounting, it's just, we'll learn the debits and the credits and then that's it. You don't have to come up with new hypotheses and theses every week. And then she responded to that and was like, well, yeah, it can be a little bit stressful to come up with ideas, but, um, then I talked to like the professors and I talked to my friends and we come up with ideas together and it's fun. And I, it makes me so sad to hear that that is how people, that's how you're supposed to experience life. Like whenever I interact with people, it only ever causes more stress. It never gets rid of it. If I have to go to somebody for help, I guess it does alleviate the stress a little bit because it's just like, oh, the thing's done. I know I have to talk to them, so it's stressful, but then I'll just do it and it'll be done. But it's never like, oh, I have this problem and like, oh, I can go to this person and we could solve it together. I've never experienced that. Even with my parents, I don't think. Oh, go, what, 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 where are they? Ah. For real? That can't be right. <laughs> Every day at the same time, there's a beeping out there. What is that? I don't like fighting the drive ones, guys, because they don't die. Oop, okay. Does that make sense? So what's the solution to that? Just be normal. Don't be like you. <laughs> I think this might kill them. Probably should have bought like some health stuff. Do you know Flash? Oh, they come. Okay, I understand. Ooh. If I felt like making a joke right now, I could try to think of something for Gino Flash, but I. I don't feel like it. <laughs> like, isn't that funny, Gino Flash? I 
guess I never would have been able to think of something funny. So the best case is just to say, well, I saw it, but I didn't say anything. Because I'm more mature. I don't think that's true. So many coins. I should... <sighs> I should really buy something. Yes, I'm going to leave and buy something. Change my mind. I'm out of here. What was my note? Do I want to talk about that? Oh, I can talk about this. <laughs> I don't know. I, uh, this is dumb. I should pick a better note. Janet Yellen? Let's talk about Janet Yellen. Is that how you say it? <laughs> I don't know. Should I try to make jokes and stuff? <laughs> just reminds me of that stupid, dumb, terrible commercial. The, the Jellin. Are you Jellin like Janet Yellen? I should have done the fire thing. Or the ice thing. Um, I am noticing a pattern in, in how I react to the news. Maybe you can notice it too. The kind of story they talk about and like what I don't like about what people, politicians say and stuff. So Janet Yellen was the the Fed chair. That's what you call it, right? There was Alan Greenspan for like 20 years, 25, 30 years or whatever. Then there was Ben Bernanke. <clears throat> then there was Janet Yellen. And now there's Jerome Powell. Those are all the Fed chairs. Back to Reagan. <clears throat> um, but, <clears throat> oh, I think you do have to do some kind of a thing on him. She got, uh, Biden picked her as the cabinet treasury secretary or something. And she had a quote, which I read in, I've been reading, I, I think I like NPR the best. So I've been trying to read their articles. I've been trying to, if anybody's watching as a, what's the best news source. I don't really watch TV news. Um, I'm just going to read articles when I'm at work, which I probably shouldn't do, but... <laughs> Janet Yellen had a quote, because she got interviewed by NPR, and what was it? She said, workers, workers are struggling to get by, and $15... Uh, Minimum wage will help the frontline workers. I'm just going to read this. It's so philosophical that it's easy to argue against. I want her to get into the weeds. Otherwise, don't say anything at all. Don't break it down for the layman's. <laughs> Ever. Because people will say, you're dumb. She has a PhD from Yale. She knows more about it than me. I don't really like to just read it. But that, those are my thoughts. And I'll try to talk about it more. What was the this? I think I want this. Yeah. I want these. Oh, whatever. Do I want to wear something? Hold on a second. Hold on a second. I should be wearing this maybe. Who knows? Down. Never mind. Uh, the problem I ha this is I don't know how to articulate this, but Janet Yellen. Point number one. Janet Yellen is really smart. She has a PhD from Yale in economics. She was the Fed chair for five, six years or whatever. 
and the country didn't explode. <laughs> so he, obviously she knows what she's doing. Can I just go into the volcano? Oh, yeah. But when she gets interviewed, she breaks it down like for us because she's like well they don't know they're just i'm just i don't have an economics degree so i don't know anything about economics so she's like so she'll say something like this 15 dollars of minimum wage will help frontline workers that's her taking all of her economics expertise and experience and saying breaking it down so that we can understand that i can understand the problem with that is that you can get people like who disagree with her, like, I don't know, Ted Cruz. I just saw a tweet from Ted Cruz that was pretty stupid. Maybe I'll talk about that. <laughs> but he, I don't know, what's up with Ted Cruz? Is he like, was he always this not smart? Why is he, he's being like more like Trump. God, it, it's weird. <laughs> it does seem like he wants to be Trump. Um, Ted Cruz, you sidetracked me, Ted Cruz. You could have Janet Yellen say something like that, and then it's easy to argue against that. You can have Ted Cruz go on even in like a town hall or like on Twitter and just say, well, Janet Yellen says this, but what I say is that raising the minimum wage is gonna hurt business owners. And uh, so, yeah. So they have these arguments that are like separate. That's what, that's what debate is now. It's like separate. It's like you say your thing and then the other person goes on Twitter and says their thing and Nobody's learning. <laughs> Nobody's getting any smarter. So I want, I want, whenever Janet Yellen talks, I want her to just barf up economics babble that we don't understand. Because I want her to be the smartest person. Like, we can trust her. Because otherwise she just sounds like everybody else. I could say that. I know that. $15 a minimum wage will help frontline workers. They need money, so let's raise the minimum wage. I could, I could say that. I'm, I trust Janet Yellen a little bit more because she has a PhD in economics and all this stuff. But people who disagree with that statement, it's not enough for them. It's not enough. Like, I don't know, if someone if someone said the opposite of this, like fifty minimum, but was really smart, like Janet Yellen. I don't think I would agree with it because I'm like, well, whatever. If 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 Ben Bernanke was like, <clears throat> fifteen fifteen dollar minimum wage is actually bad economically. Um, I'd be like, ah, but we should probably still do it anyway. <laughs> but if he was like, fifteen dollar minimum wage is good because or bad because of the Laffer curve or whatever. I mean, I can't t say economics babble because I don't know enough about economics but like if he was just saying things smarter then i'd be like oh maybe he does know <laughs> like whenever he talks he should be just saying the smartest things he shouldn't be breaking it down for us he's dead oh I got a comment this past week that was like, you don't talk about social anxiety anymore. <laughs> I doubt he would watch this video, but I feel like I handled it well. Don't die. Okay, I think that's it. Did I talk about that Janet Yellen thing? Okay. Does that make sense? I think someone who's good at that, that like whenever he talks, it's just like pure smart person babble that like we can't understand is um, 
Noam Chomsky. Whenever I listen to him talk, it's like, I don't understand what he's talking about, so he must know what he's talking about. <laughs> And he doesn't do interviews that's just like, oh, let's get a quote, Noam Chomsky, what do you think about the president? And he's like, it's bad. I mean, it's it's good. <laughs> Noam Chomsky thinks the president's good because of taxes. No, Noam Chomsky's wrong. If you're a smart person, you should never give an interview that's takes less than an hour. <laughs> That's my feeling. And you should say, you have to print everything I say. Don't take anything out of context. It's a good thing I'll never be a smart person, but I'm just giving advice to any pe smart people. Don't be afraid to be smart. Uh, but, oh, I was talking about that comment. I think, I'll, I, think I handled it well, because he was like, why don't you talk about uh, social anxiety anymore? So it was a little bit argumentative because he put like a bunch of question marks. He was like, "Why don't you do this thing anymore? You got to do it more." And I was like, "Yeah, you're right." <laughs> um, I only really talk about social anxiety stuff maybe once a week, but I was like, "To be fair, I have 700 videos. I can't talk about social anxiety every week. It's not really the point of this. The point of this is for me to talk." <laughs> And if I don't want to talk about social anxiety every week, then I'm not going to do this. Which defeats the whole purpose. The whole point is to do it and to talk. So that was kind of my answer. So anyway, see you tomorrow.